Hi everyone, my name is Inder and in this short video I'm going to tell you about two more use cases of privacy preserving machine learning. So the first use case comes from the insurance industry. In the insurance industry, there is a primary insurer which has all the risk data about its customers and there are several such insurers. But there are also reinsurers which insure these insurers. The problem here is that a lot of data that insurers have that cannot be shared with other insurers or even the reinsurer. So Swiss uh, RE, that is Swiss Reinsurance and EPFL are working in collaboration on this project where they're exploring these encrypted models which are shared between different insurance entities. So all the data uh, that each of these entities have is with, remains with these entities but the insights from that data are used to train these models. Now these models themselves are also encrypted. So that means that uh, insurer A couldn't know about the business secrets of insurer B and so on and so forth. A similar system could also be used in your company. You need to think of you know, whether you have models which are important. And if those models are open to clients, that means clients can see the results of the models, they can be re-engineered. So you want to protect those models. Not just that, you know, machine learning algorithms can also leave sensitive data. So you need to in encrypt the outputs of those models too. So privacy preserving machine learning can also help you protect your models and protect your business secrets, which these models have. And our second use case comes from another industry that is the banking industry. So a company named Infer, that's it's a startup, has developed this platform called XR Secret Computing. And what they were trying to do, they were trying to answer the simple question that how likely is a customer to buy a lending, lending product in the next 30 days. Now banking industry offers many different kinds of problems. You know, we know all of all of us know that machine learning algorithms need a large amount of data to train. And in banking, this data is sort of distributed. In the case of Infer, this data was di distributed across different banking subsidiaries and these subsidiaries were in different countries. Now the laws of different countries required that this data should not go out. So then how do you create a model utilizing the data of all these banks? So they developed a solution and I'm going to show that solution here. So I'm going to click this link and go to their company's web page and their solution is here. So XR service acts you know, as an intermediary between all these private data sources and an analyst. In their case, the, these private data sources were the banks, but in your cases, these in your company, these data sources could be other things also. So how it works is an analyst can send their query to their service, and their service would accept that query and cast that query onto different private data sources. Now, this query is processed at those private data sources. So none of the data leaves any of the uh, private data source. And once that computation takes place, has taken place, the data is sent back to the analyst, which aggregates the results from different private data sources. Now this serves actually two purposes. So as the data never leaves the private data source, the data is protected. That means neither the analyst, nor the service, nor other private data sources can see this data. Not just that, the analyst's query is also protected. In the first case, when this query is casted onto different private data sources, it's sort of randomized. So these data sources don't know exactly what the query was. And secondly, the results from these query are not visible to other data sources or, or even the service for that case. So it's only visible to the analyst who aggregates them in the end. Now you can think of use cases of such a technology within your company also. One case is if you or your competitors or your clients have a data which cannot be pulled together, you can uh, employ an architecture like this where the data is processed at the data source but the insights are gathered from all the data sources. So these were the two uh, use cases. If you think that any of these would be useful or you have any other questions about these, you can feel free to reach uh, out to me on my email ID. We can also have a one-on-one -on -one call with your company if you're interested. 
and this is how we are going to do our lighthouse projects as you all know so we are working with you at this stage to craft some potential solutions for the problems and at a later stage we will give you inputs on how those problems can be solved for your company so that was all thank you